Hello and welcome to another update video. In this video, I want to show you how you can use the KuCoin exchange, the basic functions, how to purchase cryptocurrency on KuCoin. The reason I do this video is because for many people who want to buy smaller cap crypto coins or projects um, or tokens and want to benefit from lower um, fees, KuCoin might be the choice for people as well who don't like to use Binance or can't use Binance for whatever reason. Uh, KuCoin is another choice. I like KuCoin. They also offer trading bots. Um, and if you want me to do a video on how to set up a trading bot, let me know. I find KuCoin fairly easy to use. And um, so that won't be a very long tutorial. So first of all, if you get confused with KuCoin, you've got a um, an overview of your assets where you can basically just get an overview of w which assets and how many you own. Then you have a main account and a trading account. I won't talk about the margin account because that's yeah, I wouldn't recommend using it. And um, it's not for, you know, just to use the basic functions. I think my, um, main and trading is enough. So with the main account, then you can use that. It's basically a, a wallet. Yeah, it's basically where you can hold your cryptocurrencies. I wouldn't recommend holding larger quantities of cryptos on um, KuCoin or on any exchange, just purely for security reasons. Even though KuCoin is a safe, secure exchange, in my view, um, you've got various security features here like two-factor authentication. Um, so whenever a different IP logs in, you will get notified. Um, you have to um, go into your emails and confirm the login. You have to enter a passcode. Um, what you can also select is in your emails, if you have a concern that you might get any phishing emails for, from KuCoin, you can actually add a feature. You can basically um, add a security sentence that will be displayed in any real KuCoin email. So it could be anything private that nobody else knows. And whenever you see that sentence in the KuCoin email, you know it's not a fish email. Any fish email wouldn't have that sentence. So it, it basically reduces or eliminates the risk that you click on a phishing email. Also, you can um, activate um, mobile phone support. So they will send your code to your mobile phone. And um, also you have to enter a, a code, a pin code, or you can select one and set one up, which will allow you before you do any trade or withdrawal or whatever to enter that code. So it could be a pin, a six digit pin. So all of these are security features, which I find pretty cool and um, are getting very important. But other than that, not holding any larger amounts on here is recommended. You should always transfer them over to your hardware wallet. Now, let's say I have some ETH. So first of all, to buy cryptocurrency, you can buy crypto just here, fast buy with your credit card. If your credit card issuer supports that, the way I normally do it, I transfer cryptocurrencies onto KuCoin. That could be USDT, USDC, which is you know, normally used to purchase cryptos here on the KuCoin exchange. Most pairs or most cryptos can be traded uh, against USDT. KuCoin don't support any fiat currency deposits. So you can't just deposit any money from your bank account. But as I said, you can buy crypto with your credit card. Or as I said, from another exchange, you transfer over any cryptocurrency um, like USDT, USDC or Ethereum. In my, um, I've got some ETH to transfer over. So what I would do, I would select ETH here on the main account, click on deposit. There you go. You can see then here under cryptocurrency, you've got your Ethereum. You can select if you want to move it straight to your main account or um, trading account. If you move it to your main account, you can't use it for trading um, for other pairs or for other cryptos, but you can then transfer it later from your main account to your trading account here within KuCoin. Or if you want to, you can select your trading account straight away here, trading account. Right. So there you go. So, so basically you can see then here your um, Ethereum address. That is your um, deposit address and you will need that if you send any Ethereum or ETH over from another exchange to this address. So what we do, I go on to the other exchange now, um, have to select my ETH that I want to transfer. What I do then, just going in there with my, um, my second screen here. And I basically select, first of all, I would always recommend it, always recommend, always use a small quantity first. A quantity, you know, if it is gone, it's gone, that you wouldn't really mind. Could be something like a very small quantity, just for you to, be, when you do it for the first time, just to make sure you've done all the steps correctly. What you do then, either you, um, obviously in your second exchange, you click on um, withdraw or transfer or send, depending on which, um, other exchange it is and there you have to use this address here then and tell them there in this other exchange to send your ETH um, over to 
this address here. There's also here the function of just copying it, yeah, or highlighting a barcode here, which you can scan with your phone. With that one then, you can send your um, ETH and you can send from your phone, for example, just by scanning it straight to this address. So I'm going to do that now and I'll see you in the next step. Okay, so in the next step then, let's say it has arrived. It hasn't arrived here yet because it normally takes a moment until the verification and everything is completed. So um, yeah, it can take a few minutes to half an hour for something to turn up here. Um, and if it is then on your... Um, if it is then on your main account, what you normally do, I have to search for ETH again. And what you then do is transfer it over. So if you want to transfer it from your main account to your trading account, you just select the amount of your ETH and you see the available amount here and you click confirm. And a minute later or a few seconds later, it will be in your trading account. So you go then to your trading account. So I'm now on the trading account. And what you can do here, just assuming I had some ETH on this um, account, what I would do, you can first of all transfer them back to your main account if you want to. Yeah, or a pool X, which I don't talk about now, but you can transfer them over to your main account now. And again, you select your avail uh, available amount, but if you want to trade it, you click on trade. Here you can select some general pairs, the most, um, the pairs that you can actually use. ETH packs, ETH USDC, USDT, USDT, BTC, US, whatever. Um, so if you want to trade your ETH to USDT, for example, you can do that. And we go into the trading mask here the trading overview so what you can do up here you select again eth usdt and we can have another look what's available to trade so you can see all of the pairs actually that you couldn't just see on the first um, page so there you go eth ust eth usdc eth usdt you should trade to usdt if you want to buy a smaller cap coin token for example i made a video this morning on block um, so if we take a look at block whoops block so what you see with block usdt you can see that you can trade block only against usdt so what you want to do you want to trade your eth eth for usdt first so that you've got your usdt that you can then use to purchase your block so how to do that then eth usdt you can see that here i would select that um that obviously only assumes that you haven't already transferred any USDT because in this example, I transferred ETH over. Of course, you could have also just transferred USDT over, okay? Um, so if we do that, just assuming you had transferred ETH over to, and, you wanted, um, and you wanna trade it for USDT, what I have to do here, you can see your six digit trading password that I have to set before I can actually do any trade. So you have to put in your, um, your code here. Right, when I have entered that, what do I do? In this case, I want to buy, uh, I want to sell ETH. I want to sell ETH because I want to buy USDT. So if I sell ETH for USDT, you can see it up here. I sell ETH and I get USDT. So in the most simple way, and I only show you the most simple way here in this tutorial, the most simple way is um, I select my ETH. So I would have to click on First of all, I select market order. Basically with a market order, I get the best price they get for me, right? That will be automatically determined by the exchange. So um, there are also limit orders, which I won't get into, where you can basically set the price you want to. But I guess for every beginner, if you just wanna get into trading and just wanna swap some coins, you do it that way. So you click on market and you get the best market price. You can see it here. You select the, select the amount of ETH, so 100%. Um, if you want to trade 100% of your ETH over, or you can put a number in. So I don't have any ETH at the moment. So what you would do is, yeah, basically 100%. You put a number in here, whatever, but I don't have enough now. Um, so what you then do, everything you have to do is sell ETH. And what you will then see in your trading account, you will suddenly have USDT, right? So, and then let's just assume that order has gone through and you can see down here on the left, you see the open orders. That means if an order hasn't gone through yet, you will find it here. And under the trade history or order history, you will find all your orders you have ever um, made, right? And that is basically it. Then you will have USDT in your account. And what you can then do, you go, for example, if you wanted to order some block tokens, you click on block USDT, because then you have some USDT in your account that you can use to purchase block. What you then do is buy block. And again, you select the market order. And again, that is the most simple way of doing it. Market order, and please always keep it on spot here. You don't want to do futures or anything. You want to do spot. Spot is basically just buy it. Um, 
you buy the token, right? Spot market, best market price, you select the amount of USDT that you want to convert into block. Again, you do 100%, 100% and then you click on buy block and that's it. That's it, then you will own block and those block will be in your trading account. From your trading account, again, as I showed you, you can transfer them over to your main account. From your main account, you could withdraw them onto a um, hardware wallet if your hardware wallet supports block, for example, which I don't think if any um, does. But um, that's pretty much how you can trade on um, KuCoin, basically not really trading. All you do here is exchanging tokens, yeah? Of course, you can use KuCoin also for more professional trading. You've got all the chart functions here, but maybe that is rather for another video. Please always, and as I say, before you maybe before you go into any transactions, and the transactions fees are quite low on KuCoin, maybe try it with a smaller amount, just in case anything goes wrong and you've done it for the very first time, that, um, there you go, my ETH have now turned up, actually, you can see it up here. Um, so, and, and that's pretty much it, you know, and um, try it with a smaller amount and then you can be sure that it works or, you know, at least you can be pretty much sure that the next time you do it with a larger amount, it will work as well. And that's pretty much it. That's how you buy and exchange tokens or coins on the KuCoin exchange in your trading account. Let me know if you have any other questions or let me know if you want me to do any more in-depth videos um, about more other specific things on how to use KuCoin. And hope you liked the video. If you did, please smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.